was the winter of 1977. Trungpa Rinpoche, my teacher, was staying here at the farmhouse. He did a year's retreat here. I came up to visit him. There were a lot of people in the house. It was evening. Rinpoche stepped out, and I stepped out with him onto the front porch to get some air. It was getting stuffy and hot in there. After we were out here a moment, Rinpoche said, Torridly hot, isn't it? I said, Yes, terribly hot. I said, I'm sweating. Yes, Rinpoche said. I, I, uh, let's sit down, he said. Let's sit down. Phew. He started fanning himself. Ask them to bring us some ice water, he said to me. So I got up, went inside, asked some people to bring out some ice water. We sat outside. Oh, I said, so hot. I picked up a piece of snow, put it in my drink. We carried on like this for about 20 minutes with the other people coming in, watching us on the front porch. I took off my jacket, ultimately Rinpoche took off a vest that he had on, kept fanning himself, saying how torridly hot it was. It's a great game to play. When we finally stopped, I said to Rinpoche, it's amazing, the more we talked about it, the warmer I felt, despite the icicles, despite the snow, despite the ice. He said, yes. That tells us something about the power of mind, doesn't it? So that's a game you can play with friends. When it's cold, complain bitterly about the heat, how terribly hot it is.